Yes, sir. We are back. This is the NBA Finals. This is your boy, Reg Dollar. This is the Goaded My NBA Series. So, you know what type of time this is. is. The best My NBA, the Goaded My NBA, NBA Finals time. We got the Celtics and the Sacramento Kings. After the Sacramento Kings beat the Phoenix Suns in six games in the first round, took out DeAndre and them boys. And the second round, they upset the... Three times? How many times did they defend the champs? Let's refresh my memory. The three-time defending champs, Zion Williamson and the New Orleans Pelicans, they beat them in five games and then met their, their rivals, Los Angeles Lakers, for the first time in the conference finals since 2002. We all know what happened in that series. And the Sacramento Kings, they avenge, they avenge what happened in 2002. They beat the Lakers in a seven-game, hard-fought seven-game series. And if you guys saw that, Game four, that was possibly the deciding factor because of the Lakers ended up winning that game four. They wouldn't went up 3-1, three, three and we all know the odds. Even though we've seen teams come back from 3-1s, but they folded. The Lakers folded, and Sacramento took advantage in that game seven, and they're finally in the NBA Finals, I think, for the first time ever, or probably they made it in the 60s or 50s, but not recent time. And the Celtics are back in the Finals I think they made it the past couple years. Yeah, they just made it last year, so they back for redemption. And let's jump into it right now. De'Aaron Fox is trying to lead Sacramento to their first championship. And then we also got Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown trying to they duo trying to cement their legacy in Boston. Game one. Sacramento Kings come out the gate with their impressive first quarter, and it's a close game going into the fourth quarter. Very tight game throughout this league. Back and forth, 36 each for Tatum and Brown. So they combine it for 72 points right now with a minute and 26 left in the game. De'Aaron Fox got 31 and 9 assists. And he also got three blocks, which is okay. We see you. And there's no OT. Great win on the road for Sacramento. The Cinderella team, as you could kind of say, even though they're the third seed, nobody was really expecting them to make it this far, especially I wasn't. I was kind of picking against them mostly every single series. Game two in Boston, the TD Garden. Man, the Celtics go down 0-2 after having both games at home. 39-12 and for Tatum, but let's look at the other side, the winning side. Darren Fox fouled out, but... He had 20 and 8 assists. Jalen Johnson, everybody just came to play. Multiple players with probably like 8 players with 10 plus points. So that's a recipe to win. Everybody's stepping up. Game 3 in Sacramento, this is a must-win game. And it might be a short episode. <laughs> it might be a short episode. Sacramento goes up 3-0 against the Boston Celtics. I was not expecting this to happen. Darren Fox has 31, 35 points, looking like the early favorite for the Finals MVP award. 21 and 14 for Jalen Johnson, 14 and 10 for Paulo, 10 and 11, and 9 and 11 assists for Tyrese Halliburton. We had three players on the squad with 10 plus rebounds. And I don't know what's going on with Boston. Let's look at the team stats of the. Actually, something that we haven't checked in a minute. I didn't get to check the conference final stats. My bad, fellas. I hate how this takes forever to load. All right, we can look at conference final stats, and then we're about to go to the NBA final stats. Bam averaged 28 and 14. Rich Mack averaged 27 and 11. He could have averaged more if this nigga didn't foul out every, every game. Tatum averaged 28. And... Donovan Mitchell shot 41%. Didn't shoot that good in that series in the conference finals. I didn't know THT shot this good. Darren Fox had an R8 series. He only averaged 19. I don't know why it says he played this bad in a, during the season. Did he actually play this bad? Nah, this can't be real. You know 2K be having a fake stats, so. Yeah, there's no way in hell Darren Fox averaged that. See, these stats is more accurate. As a starter, he averaged 23, 4, and 7. Now I'll just expose 2K because they really be on this bullshit. Look at these fake stats. Like, it's unacceptable. 
This is unacceptable. I hope this changes in a 2K22, which is coming out in less than a month. And I might make an episode, probably the next episode. Uh, I might just talk about like what I want to see in the next 2K. And... Oh, damn. I missed the NBA Finals. My fault. Let's jump back. You said bring your back, back, back. What you know about that? Only Jersey heads will know about that. 33, Tatum's averaging. De'Aaron Fox averaging 30 a game. Jalen Brown only averaging 23. Jalen Johnson 19 and 11, so he's stepping up. 10 players averaging at least 10 a game. Paul George ended up tearing his MCO. I did not see that. But let's jump into it. Looks like they don't even need him, to be honest. Can the Celtics come back from 3-0? Highly doubt it. And we got to jump into the celebration. Four-point game with 48 seconds left. Jason Tatum has 40 points. He's doing what he can. But everybody's just contributing on this uh, Sacramento team. So this is like a team championship right here. Jason Tatum, or who makes it a two-point game? Corey Cousins got fouled on a dunk, makes it a two-point game. I want to jump in so we can see the celebration. All right, it looks like it's safe. Four seconds left. Four-point game. Sacramento is rocking, as you could probably hear right now. Now I'm guessing. But you probably about to hear them right now rocking. And let me switch to the other team. We ain't, we ain't controlling no losers. What is this? Let De'Aaron Fox dribble out the clock. Hella purple in the arena. Crowd is cheering. And he lays it. And they win a championship. The Sacramento Kings is your... Damn, I don't remember what year this is. As your new NBA champions. They go show on the board. Yo, what's up? Help me out. Sacramento is your chance. Dennis Schroeder, get your ass up. I don't know why you laying there. They should be showing De'Aaron Fox. He the one that put in all the hard work. But Sacramento wins the championship. I think Steve Kerr is their NBA is their coach. Yep, there he is, Steve Kerr. Getting another chip. With De'Aaron De Fox bringing a championship to Sacramento, you see Paula Manchero having a trophy in his hands. You got to give it to De'Aaron. He got the finals MVP award. This is a great team effort, special team for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox pouring the champagne on him. You see Dennis Schroeder, Tyrese Halliburton, Jalen Johnson on the phone with the Shardies. Kwame Okoye looking ecstatic. And now you got Steve Kerr holding a trophy with Tyrese Halliburton in the back of PG, Dennis Schroeder. 20 points and 11 assists for De'Aaron Fox in a closeout game. What a, just great leadership that he just disposed, leading his team to an NBA championship. They didn't have the best roster, but when players needed, it, needed to, they all stepped up. And that's what I kind of like about this team. I don't, 16 and 7 for Kwame Okoye off the bench. You got 15 from Dennis Schroeder. Like, everybody stepped up when they needed to. There was times when Makai Terry had that big play on uh, Rich Mack in the conference finals. So, you got to give a shout-out to everybody from 1 to 15 on the roster. Sacramento did it. NBA champions. This is the last episode of the Goaded Mind VA series. At least I think so. Because I'm going to start. I got something I want to work on. I'm going to tell you this right now. All right. So, the, all right. Let's quit this because 2K want to be on some bullshit. But anyway, the future plans I got for this series because 2K22 is kind of around the corner, even though they haven't basically released, like, any type of news. But just know that this series is going to be coming back on NBA 2K22. But just before that, I got something special. We are going to be going to College Hoops 2K8 to play out the whole season for this next up and coming class. I'm remaking like basically all the guys like Reggie Mack, Rich Mack, uh, Mo Davis, Danny Tyler, Khalif Kingston, and all them boys. I basically put everything in like a, in a Google documents. I wrote everything down with the height, weight, who they, who they show like similarities to and like what college they going to. So I just got to make everybody in college hoops. And we're going to play out a season, and that's how, like, everybody's going to get their ratings and everything and all the stats. And that's where the stats came from last year. I just didn't play. I just didn't uh, record that because I didn't have a Elgato at the time. But now I'm going to – I got to grind and make all the players real quick. 
and we are gonna start the college hoop season. That's gonna be jumping. So you know Duke is gonna be one of the top squads we're gonna be controlling and watching a lot. We also got Kentucky and I'll show you guys. Damn. I'm trying to think. That'll definitely be coming soon. I still gotta figure out everything that I wanted to do for that. But just also look out for that. Darren Fox finals MVP. He averaged 28 points, two rebounds, nine assists, and almost a steal on a block on 60, 48. And I don't know why they cut out the three point percentage, but that's 2K for you. Just doing unnecessary stuff. And the Sacramento Kings is your NBA champs. What a great ride. What a great run. And did they ever make it to the finals before that? I gotta see. Oh, this is their second title. Yeah, they had to win in like in the fifties. I think in like the late fifties. Maybe like Jerry Lucas. I might be wild enough. But I think that'll do it for today's episode. You already know the deal. Hit the subscribe button. Go and download the greatest draft class ever created in 2K history. The most detailed that you could find on the player. Like, look at all these guys. They all blend in at, and look like real players. My God, Dustin and Dave right here. Just rambling a little. Just going through the rosters. But I appreciate all the support. I'm going to be on the grind. My laptop about to die soon, so I kind of got to end this video type now. So, appreciate all the support. It's your boy, Raz Dollar. Be great, don't hate. Hit the like button, please. Hit the subscribe button. Share this with a friend. Do all that. Comment. Talk to me. You know, we could talk about basketball and stuff and everything. I got my Twitter page linked in the description and everything. IG, podcast. Go and, hit, go and check out the podcast if you want to hear more of me chatting about basketball. I know a little bit. So... It's your boy Reg Dollar. I'm gonna stop rambling. Let me get out of here. Be great. Don't hate. Yes, sir. I'm out.